We are back out here at Walk On. Say, Roadrunner fans, our partner Sport Clips Haircuts is giving away a once in a lifetime game day experience. Go to sportclips.com slash UTSA for more details and to register to win for the November 10th game versus the FIU Panthers. Kristen Holt joins us. She is the head women's basketball coach at UTSA. Welcome to the show tonight. How are you doing? Thank you. Good. Uh, you've got a season coming up with an exhibition game on the 2nd, and then you'll open for real against Concordia on uh, the 6th. Uh, if I got that right? Is that right? Yeah, Correct. Concordia. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the season. What are you looking forward to the most this year? Well, um, I really like the team we're working with this year. I think the um, just the attitude and the approach of our team has changed um, a lot from last season and I think the way we finished the year certainly helped going into the off season but we worked harder we spent more time in the gym um, the, our kids did and um, I just think that we have a, a, a better approach a better mentality and it's going to result in um, good things for the future. I got a chance to meet one of your players this uh, summer and into the fall. Tyja Hawkins has been doing some uh, features for us on our football pregame shows, and uh, she's getting better. She's really doing well with it. So uh, you can tell her that, and I've told her that herself. But uh, just talk about her and some of the other players on the team that you are going to have some leadership from as, as they come back. Yeah, Tyja and Marie Benson are two kids that we're going to count on heavily. Uh, they both play inside and can score and rebound. And uh, Tyja was probably our most improved player over the summer, just put a lot of time in, worked on her left hand, um, has some post moves um, that uh, she didn't have last season. So we're excited for both of those kids. They're both juniors. Um, we only have one senior on this year's team, so we're relatively young uh, we've got some, some holes to fill, but um, Marie, uh, Marie Benson's sister, Barbara, um, was a freshman last year, and, and we're just, we just think she has great things ahead of her and, and is going to do a lot of things for us. And then uh, K.K. Donald is a, a point guard that's a sophomore, and um, she's going to run the team and play a lot of minutes for us. Isn't it great when you have a player and you say, okay, the season's over, here's where you need to improve, and then when they show up in the fall, they've improved on what exactly you told them to do? They have. I mean, I, I think that every kid, it, it, that's the thing that's been great about this group is they're very teachable and coachable, and they all made some improvements um, in different areas, and that's what you want to see. And um, we're, our team's just going to continue to get better. The process that we're in is one that I think um, is going to, you know, really play out and play out well. You've got some interesting games on the schedule. I see Texas is on there again and a chance to go back up to Austin and play the, the Longhorns. Yeah, they're, you know, top ten in the country, and um, they're very, very good. Um, we're going to Seton Hall's tournament, and that should be a, a good competition in an area of the country that most of our kids have never been to. Um, and then we have our own uh, Thanksgiving tournament, which is always competitive. And um, it's a good schedule leading into our conference. What about Conference USA this year? Who are the, the teams there? Well, UAB is the pick uh, to win it. And they pretty much had everyone back from last year's championship team. So they're very good. Um, but, you know, you always have the Western Kentuckys and the Middle Tennessees that um, year in and year out are very good, and they're they're going to be right there at the top as well. I know we touched on this uh, last year when you were you joined us for one of the Steve Henson shows. I was very disappointed when the Spurs decided to move the Stars out of town. I thought they did so much for the entire sport of women's basketball, mm -hmm. uh, and the the players, the the Becky Hammonds, the Sophia Youngs, and the Vicky Johnsons, and all those people that were here really helped all the other women's basketball programs in town. But the WNBA is still out there, and it's still on TV all the time. So the the sport continues to grow, doesn't it? It does. Um, but you're right. I think when it, it left San Antonio, that was left a void because we would we would spend time even going to their practices to watch, um, you know, and spend time with them and learn some things. Um, and that to not have them around. So we follow them to Vegas, and we keep an eye on what they're doing there. Yeah. And Dan Hughes was always am am amenable to all that, wasn't he? That's right. And he, of course, won a championship this year with Seattle, so that was neat to see. What about some of your newcomers this year on your team? Uh, who who you kind of count on the most there, and uh, how's that gone? Well, we don't have a large roster this year, and the three freshmen we brought in, I think, are all going to play a lot of minutes for us, and they're going to be very good Conference USA players. Uh, they're all talented and, and work hard and and uh, we've got two from Kansas and one from London, England. So, um, again, we think that they're going to help us. When you get freshmen on campus, the one thing that's always hard, no matter what sport it is, is teaching them to learn the speed of the game. You can practice all you want, but when they throw the ball up in the air, the, go the game gets a little faster, doesn't it? That's right. And, I'm, you know, even AAU doesn't prepare them for that. So you're, I think that these kids, though, um, have, have really adjusted well. 
Um, they don't hold back. They don't uh, act like they're freshmen and that, you know, they've got to take a back seat to anyone, and that's what we wanted them to do. We wanted them to compete. When you look at the San Antonio area schools, high schools, how's the women's programs around town? Um, you know, very good. I, and we're, uh, obviously we can't talk about specifics, but we're, we're doing well in the area as far as recruiting. And um, we want to focus in this area. We want to keep some local talent here because we think there is enough to help us. And so our focus has been um, not just San Antonio, but, but the state of Texas in the whole. You want to win every game. Uh, and every coach always says, I want to be in the NCAA tournament. I want to be in that championship game in the, in the uh, conference tournament. What, uh, besides that, what are some uh, intermediate goals for this team this year? Yeah, I mean, you're right. We all want to win the championship. But I think uh, realistically where we're at right now is um, – you know, if we could better ourselves from last year and have a better pre-conference. We really struggled last year to win games. We only won two prior to the conference season, and that was kind of hard to co overcome mentally. So, you know, if we can get off to a better start this year and get some wins under our belt, um, you know, we hope to improve upon last year's finish, which was 10th. And we were picked 12th preseason, which that, that doesn't indicate necessarily anything. But That's just a bunch of guys like us trying to figure out who's, <laughs> who's, who's better than the other one. And you're not right. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time we're not. No, so, but we'll see. We, we've got a lot of growing to do, though, yet. All right. Kristen, thanks so much for All joining right. us. Best of luck this year. When we have the Steve Henson shows in January, we'll have you on some more. Sounds good. Thank All you. All right. Kristen Holt with All us right. out here, everyone, the women's basketball coach at UTSA. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel invites you to come and play. Located in Eagle Pass, Texas, you're just a short drive away. Visit LuckyEagleTexas.com for more. Steve Henson will join us next. We'll talk men's hoops as the Frank Wilson Radio Show rolls on from walk-ons and from Learfield.